हेलो एवरीवन वन अमर का भौमिक एंड आई वेलकम यू ऑल टू अनादर एपिसोड ऑफ कोर्स टुडे ऑन लाइव लॉ वे वी अपडेट यू अबाउट ऑल द इम्पॉर्टेंट लीगल डेवलपमेंट्स दैट टुक प्लेस अक्रॉस द कंट्री टुडे वी विल बिगिन विद डेवलपमेंट्स फ्रॉम द सुप्रीम कोर्ट एंड देन मूव ऑन टू हाई कोर्ट्स एंड अदर सबॉर्डिनेट कोर्ट्स इफ यू लाइक आर कंटेंट प्लीज टू नॉट फर्गेट टू लाइक एंड सब्सक्राइब टू आर यूट्यूब चैनल लेट्स बिगिन In a significant development the Supreme Court of India today passed a split verdict on a batch of appeals challenging the restriction on Muslim girl students wearing hijab in educational institutes in the state of Karnataka Justice Hemant Gupta dismissed the 26 appeals filed against the judgment of the Karnataka High Court which held that hijab was not an essential religious practice of Islam and allowed the ban on wearing of hijab in educational institutes expressing the divergence in his opinion justice sudhan chudhulia on the other hand set aside the karnataka high court judgment and held that the entire concept of essential religious practice was not central to the dispute in question we have made a detailed video on this particular verdict the link to which has been given in the description box below please do check it out The Supreme Court bench of justices DY Chandrachur and Hema Kohli today directed the center to file a counter affidavit to the petition filed by Rajya Sabha MP Dr Subramaniam Swami seeking the status of national heritage for the Ram Setu. Dr Swami appearing as party in person submitted and I quote here for the last 8 years the matter has been coming up the Union of India has failed to file the affidavit in the matter. The bench asked the center to file its reply additional solicitor general madhavi divan appeared on behalf of the center a petition has been filed in the supreme court against the upcoming bollywood movie thank god the petition filed by shri chitra gupta welfare trust seeks directions that the trailers and posters of this particular movie should be removed from youtube and other electronic platforms the petition of further seeks a direction to stop the release of the said movie in theaters and also on ott platforms The Supreme Court of India today dismissed the plea of an advocate challenging the procedure adopted by the Delhi High Court while designating 55 advocates as senior advocates out of a total of 237 applicants. The matter was heard by a bench comprising Chief Justice of India U U Lalit and Justice Bela M Trivedi. The petition in person advocate Harvinder Choudhury submitted during the hearing that she was aggrieved for not being appointed as a senior advocate despite being fit for the role. The Supreme Court today granted 2 weeks to the center to look into the matter pertaining to the issuance of Aadhaar cards to nearly 27 lakh persons who were added in the supplementary list of the Assam National Register of Citizens published in August 2019. The matter was heard by a bench comprising Chief Justice of India U U Lalit and Justice Bela M Trivedi. At the very outset, the counsel appearing for the petitioners, senior advocate Biswajit Deb submitted that while citizens who names had been mentioned in the first nrc that is national register of citizens list had received their aadhar cards the same was not the case for those whose names had occurred in the second list The Supreme Court today refused to grant urgent listing for a matter pertaining to the bursting of green crackers during Diwali. The bench stated that the matter shall be dealt with by the Delhi High Court instead. The petition in question had earlier approached the Delhi High Court challenging the direction issued by the Delhi Pollution Control Committee on September 14th for a complete ban on manufacturing, storage, sale and bursting of all kinds of firecrackers till January 1st, 2023 in the national capital. The Kerala High Court today while disposing of two petitions challenging the grant of anticipatory bail to the author and social activist Sivik Chandran in a sexual harassment case expunged the controversial sexually provocative dress remark made by Kozhikode Sessions Court. Justice Kosar Edapagat while disposing of the two petitions moved by the state as well as a de facto complainant against the anticipatory bail order observed that even though the reason shown by the court below for granting anticipatory bail cannot be justified however the order granting anticipatory bail cannot be set aside quashing the criminal proceedings against 12 CPIM leaders including the state chief minister Pinarayi Vijayan 
former Chief Minister V.S. Achutanandan and Politburo member Prakash Karat in a case alleging unlawful assembly as well as rioting, the Kerala High Court today stated that the right to dissent and the freedom of expression, which is contrary to the views of the government, is not an offensive conduct. Justice B. Chukuri and Thomas, while quashing the private complaint filed by a lawyer before the trial court against the CPIM leaders, observed that the constitutional scheme of India embodies the statutory principle of the right to dissent, and when the dissent is expressed without causing any harm or even a significant inconvenience, it would be too puerile to proceed criminally against the dissenters. The Madurai bench of the Madras High Court recently took suamoto cognizance of increased addiction of online gaming among teenagers. The court was hearing a habeas corpus petition relating to a missing girl who was later found to be addicted to playing an online game called Free Fire. The bench of Justice R. Mahadevan and Justice Santha Narayan Prasad wondered how these online games were permitted despite being banned by the government of India. A Mumbai special court has sentenced a 23-year-old man to three years in jail for pulling the dupatta and holding the hand of a minor girl with sexual intent. The court noted that sexual offences against children are increasing and cause a very adverse impact on the victim, her family as well as on the society, leading them to believe that the house and nearby vicinity is not safe for children. Definitely such type of incident causes terror in the minds of people, victim and her family members and leaves scar for a long time, the court added in the order. Thank you. Keep watching courts today on Live Law for more such updates. See you tomorrow.